Separation. Anybody know what the difference between the shoulder dislocation and the separation is? Separation is when the, the bone comes out of the joint and goes back in? No, basically it has to do with which joint is involved. I mean, when you think shoulder joint, what's the main shoulder joint? Glenohumeral. So glenohumerals get dislocated, AC joints get separated. Okay? So what happens, like you're saying, you, you fall onto the... Uh, So let's say here's your here's your clavicle here like this, and then you fall down like this, and this gets your acromion, you're falling down onto your shoulder, the acromion gets separated from the clavicle. So you have what's called a step deformity. So you're going you're palpating down the distal clavicle and all of a sudden it steps down. Right? That's usually a pretty easy thing to, to diagnose with somebody and they say, well, you know, I fell onto my shoulder, I got this bump right here. You look at it, you, you follow the clavicle, and it's popped up like that. So you have AC separation. So separation is AC joint, dislocation is glenohumeral joint. What do you do with that? Most of the time you don't do anything. Unless they're like some professional athlete, then they can go in and do surgical repair. But most of the time, you just deal with it. Because there's no muscle that goes across it that you can rehab to try to strengthen to pull it in. The only thing to do for it is, is surgery to pull it down. I mean, when it, when it happens, the initial treatment is you wear a certain type of a brace that pulls this up and holds this down. You've seen something like that. It's like a sling that there's a strap that you can tighten that goes from <coughs> here to here. It's like a, all the way around like that. So when you're pulling this up and pushing the clavicle down, you're trying to hold that joint back in, but it's, if the ligament's not there to hold it, you can push it down all day long. I mean, maybe while it's healing, you want to try to heal it shortened, but it's not going to... But it's never going to be normal again, is what you're saying? Yeah. You know, people will have a, a step deformity. That's what's called a step deformity, where you have a gap right there. You know, compare one side to the other. They have a their AC, their clavicles popped up. What's that? Uh, no, I wouldn't recommend that. Going to the other side. Okay, so um, I think of most of the stuff that we can do with the shoulder here, we can do without. Maybe we can, if we want to, as time goes on, if we want to get out some tables or if somebody want to get some out right now, we can do that. But we, what we can do is just take turns switching around and palpating the person next to you and, and palpate the spine of the scapula going across like this. So you're going to palpate across here. And then you can follow up the superior angle of the scapula down to the inferior angle of the scapula and then go on the spine of the scapula and then palpate up into the supraspinous and down to the infraspinous. And then, so we'll just show these other things and then we can, you can practice and we'll come around and make sure you're finding everything. So then when you start, you start on the acromion and then you can come to find the clavicle here, so you find the AC joint, and you come across the medial board of the clavicle, find the sternoclavicular joint, and then find the coracoid process, which is if you follow the round curve of the deltoid, and where the, that curve kind of ends right there, there's a bony prominence right there, that's going to be your coracoid process. Okay? And then we'll find the greater and lesser tuberosities. So you come up from the if you're in an anatomical position like this, you find your biceps and come up like this, then you should be right in the groove in between. If you, if you turn, if you internally rotate, your greater tuberosity should pop up under your finger, go back to neutral, and then externally rotate, and then the lesser tuberosity. All right? So we'll practice those things, we'll come around. You're going to find the trace of the spine of the scapula, go on the medial border, superior border, inferior angle. Uh, chromium, AC joint, surgical leak joint, clavicle, and then greater lesser tuberosity and biceps. Okay. So everybody needs to be able to find those and we'll come around and, and then usually call Here this you. horizontal game detection. So now we can press back this memory. Okay. Uh, let's see.
that are uh, trapezians, um, let's have a lay based on so basically what I'm going to do is for the middle trapezius, the action will be like this. So I'm going to have a little arm out like that. I'm going to put it down this way. Today, but we'll, we'll get some habits for you. There's a book that's, that's has all, it's, I think it's called Posture and Pain, and it shows all how to do all the different muscle testing. Okay, so you can hold on the top like this, and then I'm going to press down this way. Okay, so you can see because the middle trap fibers are going to run this way, they're going to pull up like that. And then for the lower trap, I'm not going to use this arm, I'm just going to hit the table. I'm going to go this way. You can see that um, on the fiber, on there, on the, let's see, right here, with those fibers right there, because I'm putting her arm up this way, so I'm in line with the fibers of the muscle, because they run this way, right? So I'm going up here, and then I press it down like that. So with the action of the, here, so we're testing the lower trap. This is middle trap, okay? And then upper trap is where you're trying to bring and this one you would do seated, so you're trying to separate, you're trying to bring the ear to the shoulder and you're trying to separate like that. Because the trap attaches to the uh, occiput up here, and then it's coming down and going into the, around the, the upper portion goes more a little bit to the front part of the clavicle and the acromion. So you're trying to, you're approximating these, which is what the muscle does, and then you pull them apart. Then, uh, let's see, which kind of sit? Let's this one. And we're going to try to bring it on the back of this one. I'm going to pull out like this. So, what this is doing is the rhomboids are pulling, they're, they're retracting the scapula. Okay, so, I'm going to pull back this way. So, the rhomboids are trying to pull the scapula back this way. So we could do this other one for the uh, Terry's major. Okay, so she's going to, I'm going to have her try to internally rotate like that. And I'm holding this one here so that I can put my other hand here. Because here's where the Terry's major is going to be. It's going to come from the inferior angle of the scapula and it's going to go underneath over to the other side here. So when she tries to internally rotate, I'm going to press this way, you press in. You'll feel that muscle pop up like that. Right. So relax. And then press here. And you feel it this way versus if we're going to go this way, you're going to press out this way. I'm going to press in. That's going to be Terry's minor and infraspinatus because those are external too. 